So this is a very smart point from uh, Federer against El Potro. And what you're going to see is rather than serving to the T or wide, that he's going to go right at the body and jam Del Potro. And what's going to happen here is Del Potro's return is going to drop short. So this is where the second that Federer identifies that the return is going to be short, he's going to upgrade and run around it. So from right here, he has options. Uh, he can go with angle inside out and attack Del Potro's backhand. Um, he can take it up the line, but he knows his opponent and he knows Del Potro isn't very far away from running onto a forehand, and that's potential burn cross court. So what Federer does is he plays this great. He takes it inside out, and what you're going to see here is Del Potro scrambling for it. He's on defense now on his weak side. So... Here's where it's really interesting and what you can copy from Federer is that as soon as he knows Del Potro is in the corner and he's playing defense, the shot that he can basically take away here is the winner down the line and he can start to expect a ball cross court. It's going to take a very good ball to stop Federer from running around it and this is where he's positioned himself in the ad court waiting for that. So Del Potro decides to go cross court. He's trying to get to Federer's backhand. But again, he drops it short. And what you see here is Del Potro's recovery position. It's deep. It's way into the ad court. Federer's run around it again, and he's created tons of angle. So he can take this again uh, inside out and go to the weak side of Del Potro again. But this time, he's created so much space that Del Potro will never catch up to the ball. He won't be able to get there. And even if he does... He's going to be running so hard that if he takes it cross court, Federer has another one up the line. So we'll have a look at how this plays out. <laughs>